Namaste. I'm Jenny G. Thanks for tuning into my channel. So I have some new exciting content that is coming on here ASAP. So be prepared, you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. There's some exciting news coming really soon here. So anyways, I'm going to talk about this week's Cosmic Vibes. This week, July 29th to August 4th can be life-changing for you. We have the super full moon in Aquarius. We have Chiron retrograde. We still have that Venus energy going on. And this is going to be when you're going to truly want to walk your talk. Walk your truth. Talk your truth. You are going to be looking at who's trying to restrict you. Who's trying to tell you how to live your life. Who is trying to tell you how you should be you? Like, how dare somebody, right? Exactly. There is no need for you to start defending who you are, what you want, what your desires are. Because when you have to start defending who you are and what you want, that's not your person. That's not your people. That's not your soul group. So you're going to be doing a lot of reflection back on this week with everything and as we go through everything meaning our thoughts um what's happening what's been going on you know it can get a little bit emotional because as you reflect back for the whole month of july really really take a look at and make points of what happened especially if it was something major, if it was like an ending or if it was like a new beginning, maybe you're like, you know what? I'm not going to go that path anymore. Nobody's understanding me. Nobody's getting what I'm trying to say. You're going to be reviewing things and you might just say, you know what? That's it. I'm letting go of this and I'm walking in a whole new direction right now. No matter if it's a relationship, no matter if it's a job or a career or family, or friends, or who, you're standing in your truth, you're speaking in your truth. You're just all of a sudden, have you ever had that moment when you're like, okay, how did, how did that inside voice come out? Like, like, how did that happen? Right? It's like you're holding back, and you're holding back. And then all of a sudden, you just blah, 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 blah. And then you're like, how did that happen? So you might find that you might have those moments this week. <laughs> so which is your soul wanting you to stand up for yourself? You know, we all have limits with things. You, you're going to want to be more authentic. You're going to want to be making changes with certain people who you're connected to. You're like, you know what? This isn't working for me anymore. If I can't be myself, it's not going to happen. I'll go elsewhere. Bottom line. You're going to see that happening more and more and more and more. And some people you might shock and that, but that's just too bad. You have to live in your truth, right? Very, very important. So you're going to find that with this full moon in Aquarius, you'll have to watch my other video for those of you who are subscribed to get the full, full report on what's happening. Like changes are really happening around that full moon. It could become a little bit more emotional for you. You know, full moons bring in, you know, your emotions, what you're holding back. It, it really um, makes things like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So this is when you could be really venting out and standing your truth more. You know? However, it's really good to utilize these energies as well. And when you're feeling really overwhelmed, take that pause, you know, turn your phone off, go, go, go for a walk in nature, get out on your own, take your dog for a walk, you know, and you're going to find that I just can't be around people right now. I just can't deal with this anymore. So just be really careful. And for those of you who, um, you know, really like doing workouts and everything, just be really, really careful. Don't push it because you might have some injuries. 
you know, with your knees and, and um, your calves and your Achilles and such like that. So be really, really careful when you're working out, really stretch and be gentle on yourself. Because even the 30th on the 31st of July, you might find your back is a little bit sore, you know, and you might get signs of your knees are starting to act up. I mean, even right now with me, I pushed myself a little too far at the gym. So I have my knees wrapped up right now. And I'm like, oh, right so I'm like you pushed it you pushed it you know but you get in that zone you get into that zone when you're like yeah I can push through it and then you're like oh my gosh what did I do so just really be careful really be careful and and don't do that right I get it I get it when we get in that zone we get in that zone so you know even on the 30th you know 29th 30th of July, you're going to be feeling your body's a little off, your muscles might get a little achy, your hips, you know, you might feel like your liver, you know, is a little bit feeling drained, or you're feeling tired, maybe it's time to do that cleanse, you know, like water and, um, you know, squeeze fresh lemon juice into your water every morning, and it night um, you know it can be warm water it can be your cold water some people just squeeze lemon in their water and they they drink it right back right I mean I like it I, I like it some people are like oh that's just crazy I just don't want that right now right ew we all have our own thing so you might find that you're going to want to be doing a lot more detoxing this week as well and we're talking detoxing on your emotions because with this Sharon retrograde that is with us it's that old healer, those old wounds, those old traumatic situations that you've been through throughout your life, you know, and all of a sudden you could get triggered at any time and from any reason for anything. You could be watching a comedy movie and all of a sudden you could be laughing and then start crying. How many of you have really started laughing and laughing and then you started crying and it's not because it was funny because laughter is healing for the medicine of your soul. It's medicine of the soul laughter. So that's why you might find yourself laughing and laughing. Then all of a sudden you start breaking down and crying and crying. Because your soul wants you to let go. Your soul wants you to heal. So don't run from what is being brought to the surface for you right now really work through it really even write it down if you need to and say okay what am I what am I really emotional about and don't run from it write it down if you have to take time to meditate because you're going to find that you're going to want some space this week to even do more reflections in and it's really important to really reflect within and and really think before you speak you could say something and you're like oh why did I say that like oh my gosh especially when you're trying to defend yourself, especially when it's like, I'm trying to make my point across, you're not getting it. And if that person doesn't have any comprehension with what you want and what you're trying to say, move on. It's time to make those changes. And this full moon is going to help you do that. <laughs> so this week could be could be like, oh, my goodness, it's like a roller coaster, like, oh, my partner or, or oh, my family or oh, my job, all of that, <laughs> right? Lots of things are going to come to the surface for you. So on the fourth and the third of August, we have that pre shadow Mercury retrograde. Yes, Mercury retrograde is starting to come. So when we get that pre-shadow, you might find that a little technical issues might be a little bit off and such. For me, that's the worst thing, right? And and um, I mean, I'll do separate videos, of course, on, on, on that. But <laughs> you might feel a little bit more irritated. But we still have solar flares, which is really intense, which can cause technical issues. It really can. So there's a lot of things that happening. I mean, even this morning, again, boof power outage boof I heard the bang 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 which woke me up and then I'm like oh my clock is going on and off on and off we get them here like about every six weeks and it's annoying because then you got to go reset everything right you know and I'm like gosh so 
You're going to want to be true to you even more, even more, even more. And even on the second, we have Pluto energy coming in. And that's even part of that super moon energy, of course, that's still going to be with you. That is going to be bringing up even memories from your past, triggering you. You could have dreams about your past life. You could be having those visions of, you know, I really felt like I was a soldier or I really felt like I was a ballerina or whatever it is. And there's certain energies that even your soul wants you to heal from that, that's still linked to your cellular memory. Because your soul also is going to bring up more of who you are, your talents. We all have talents one way or another. We're all gifted in our own way. So you might find that this is another reason why you could be defending yourself. You could make that all of a sudden career change. You know, it's like all of a sudden, if you were like a doctor, for instance, you might be like, you know, I don't want to do that anymore. You know, I did that because that's how my bringing up was. I was told I had to do that in order to have more of a rewarding financial life and all in that. But I don't want to be a doctor anymore. Maybe I want to go and, and be a fitness trainer now. Maybe I want to go and just work in retail tell maybe i now like whatever it is so all of these talents really pay attention to when you're starting something again when you're like you know i was very passionate about that and and i've been getting that calling and that feeling and knowing somehow that i got to get back on my projects really utilize this energy because we are also in the lion's gate portal which is huge huge that peaks on the 8th of august which is a huge vibrational day massive huge vibrational day so i'll talk about that on my next cosmic vibes video as well but in the meantime you're going to be feeling that you're going to get pushed and pushed and pushed and it's time you prioritize yourself set more boundaries Start loving who you are even more. You know, we all criticize ourselves one way or another, right? Doesn't matter what it is. You have to stop being so critical. I, I get it. I get, I'm really hard on myself as well. You know, we all get that moment where we're like, you know, gosh, why didn't you do this? Or why didn't you change that? Right? So stop being so hard on yourself. Things come together in divine timing when you are ready. You know, you might all of a sudden look back on the past, you know, six months or 20 years ago or 10 years ago, five years ago and say, you know, I had a passion to do this. I had a passion to travel here. I had a passion to, to follow this path or to work on this. That's going to be coming back. So don't worry about how it's going to happen, when it's going to happen, how all of that's going to come together. Just write it down. Really write it down. Pause and take a note for yourself what's really, really important. Because you're going to be saying goodbye to certain situations. You're going to be making some endings. You're going to be making some decisions this week. And you're going to start to see what decisions you're making this week even start to happen even more so towards December, towards November. So retweak that vision board, as I call it. You know, I've crossed off a few things actually just recently, and I've added on a couple of more things. So you might look back in that and say, you know, I thought I wanted to do that. I thought I wanted to go this direction, or I thought I wanted to be in with that person or 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 that's why your soul is bringing things to the surface and you're getting triggered to release what is not in alignment with you anymore to release certain situations and people that you no longer connect with you know we all connect with different people for different reasons and and you know people show up in our life when we're ready to make certain changes and and to transcend forward and quantum leaps and such like that if you're open and ready to surrender to the process so the neptune energy is going to help you release these past situations and people and and triggers and such like that I know, Jenny, but I don't, I don't want to hurt them. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, end that relationship with my partner or my friend or whoever. But 
who are you hurting more? But Jenny, they've made plans, you know, they said that we, that we're going to be going here next year and, and we're going to be doing this. And, you know, they're talking about marriage and they're talking about, I understand. However, is that what you want? I don't know. I thought I did, you know, at once upon a time, this is what I wanted, but now I don't want that anymore. Write it down, write it down. You know, we all have experiences with different people for different reasons. Some are teachers, some are lessons learned. Some people are just, hi, how's it going? You know, you might talk to somebody, you know, the cashier, let's say, or or somebody you run into and have a great conversation with them and then you never see them again. Or it could start something new. You know, we are all connected. We're all connected. But listen to that little voice within. That's your soul speaking to you. Your soul is going to get louder and louder and louder until you're like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. I'm done. I'm done. And when you speak your truth with honesty, have that heart-to-heart conversation with someone. You are setting your soul free. You are setting yourself free because you're speaking your truth. You're being honest. And then you can start that healing process. Healing is a process that takes time. And this Chiron energy is here to help you move through that. If you surrender it, surrender that. Because towards the end of the month as well, even more, this is, you know, 29th, 30th, you're going to be really reflecting back on things. Really, this is why, you know, I suggest to some people, keep a journal, keep a journal of, you know, how your day's going, um, where were you, who were you around, who is making you feel really good in a positive way, who is draining your energy, who are you trying to defend yourself to, who are you arguing with, where did you feel most passionate, who made you feel passionate, who made you feel good. Who was trying to tell you how to live your life and how to do this, 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 or that? And you're like, that's not who I am. That's not what I want. That's not my path. Walk your own truth. Walk your own path. Very important. These energies will work with you, you could be feeling a lot of head pressure. And when you're feeling a lot of head pressure, you know, it's time to really stop and reflect. You might be having that sleepless night and you're like, I don't want to do this. Why did I say I'm going to do this? Why did I agree to this? When you really don't want to. Take that pause, take a look at what lesson you learned. And this is why you're going to be feeling, I have to have that courage. This Leo Gate, portal, energy is huge. It's going to want you to walk forward with your courage, your courage. You know, happy birthday, fellow lions. I'm a Leo of the lion, double fire, double fire horse. I got double, double the fire energy in me. Boom. You know, and, and it's like, okay, times we have to tame ourselves down. That's why I observe a lot and I hold myself back before I want to say something. And sometimes when somebody keeps pushing and pushing and pushing, that's it. I'm done. I am done. Right. So you might find that this week, as I mentioned, a lot of that could happen. A lot of that could happen. So just write it down. Take note. Um And really work with this energy because, you know, as I mentioned, Pluto is going to be bringing back some memories, even past life memories, memories throughout your life that might be a little sad or traumatic or, you know, grieving is always hard, but, you know, sometimes we can take a lifetime to heal from certain things and what you have healed from and and at peace with, it won't be coming back up again because you're at peace with it. You've worked through that. That's why you can't run from situations. 
So on that note, let's pull a couple of cards and see what the spirit world has to say. Um, and when somebody books a reading with me, I don't use cards because I'm a psychic clairvoyant medium. I read into your level of consciousness to see where you're at, your soul's journey, where you're going, give you all those confirmations. Because sometimes we just need to have that confirmation that we're on the right path. And I also talk about your past life Akashic records as well to give you a better understanding of why things are happening the way they are and what's going to happen. Animal communicator, our animals are very sensitive even more so right now. So if your animal is acting off, take a look at where your mind is, where your energy is. If you've been really off or emotional or angry, your animal could be trying to talk to you and acting really weird because it's picking up on your energy. So be more mindful, be more mindful, right? I'm an animal communicator. I can always see what's going on as well, by the way. So relationship coach, pranic healer, meditation teacher. Anyways, um, you can always book a reading with me. I'm just saying, so work with Jenny.com. So let's pull a couple of cards from the spirit world. And before you utilize any cards, make sure that you clear them three times on wood. Boom, boom, boom. That clears your energy and whoever else has used it. So I've cleared my decks before I started this video. So let's find out from the spirit world what's the message from July 29th to August the 4th. They fell down. I wasn't feeling it. What's the message from the spirit world? July 29th to the 4th of August message right away now this is very cool this is very cool so as we're releasing energy it could be you know if you're not releasing energy and letting go it stays stuck in your energy field which creates blocks and one of the best ways um there's many different ways of course but one of the best ways is to exercise move your body shake off that energy and look at that hula 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 vibe Hula 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 vibe, aloha vibe, as I call it. It's very interesting, I might say. And this card says, move your body, dance, breathe, and flow, right? Whenever you're moving your body, have you ever noticed that after you've done a workout, you're feeling tired or, and you're feeling good? Because your body has let go of those stress hormones that you're carrying within. But just be mindful around the full moon, you guys. Don't push it, as I'm mentioning, right? You know, we can do our workout. We don't have to push it and push it because that can work against you, especially during that full moon time. So move your body around. Even do some dancing and, you know, little little moves, right? You know, who likes to dance? Do you ever watch Ellen DeGeneres, her show, when she'd come on the set and she'd start dancing and, you know, with twig and such like that. I love that. Such great energy and it, and it gets you going. It raises your vibration and, and so on and so on, right? So, you know, gravitate what feels right for you, of course, you know. So let's talk to the animal world. Let's talk to the animal kingdom and what messages are from them. Now, I've talked about the energy of the sea and the ocean and the water animals for quite some time. And what I've mentioned has happened and is happening. It's a very sacred gift, animal communication for me, very sacred gift. So let's see what their messages are from July 29th to August the 4th. Dis disengage from outcomes. Let go. So you can open yourself to the highest love that you deserve. Find ways to release worry or any unresolved lack of forgiveness you might be holding on to. Look at the whales. Whales also represent past life. So for those of you all of a sudden, you know, who see a whale pop out, unless you're at a whale show, that's normal, right? You know, but if you're by the water and all of a sudden you see a whale, there's a message there for you. So try to sit kind of quiet in that zone and see if you can hear a message coming through. Like, don't force it. You know, some of you might hear a message. Some of you don't or might not. Don't worry about it. Right. So the whale is telling you to let go, to allow things to go with the flow. Because if you're holding on 
um, to a lot of anger and such like that, it's going to create blocks for you and can create issues with your joints and arthritis and teeth and such like that and your bones. So you got to be really careful. And it's really, really important to forgive, especially with the share on retrograde. You know how I said it's going to bring bringing up triggers from the past, um, you know, with relationships and situations and such like that. And it's really important you work through it. So if you notice the whales, they flow through the water with grace and ease. <laughs> right? I love the whales. I love whales. I love all animals, mind you. So, so let's find out here um, a message here from our angels. What is the message here from our angels from the 29th of August 1st? Really, 4th? Really pay attention to your dreams as well. Um, you know, you might find that there's more angelic energies and beings around you in your dreams, or if you're feeling angelic beings around you, especially with all the changes in the world, our angels are closer to us more so than ever right now. So... You know, I'm open to receive messages from my guides, from my angels, from source, whoever that is. That's best for my highest self and highest purpose. I'm open to receive. Stay in alignment with that energy. Focus that white light around you, around your crown and everything. Take time to, to tune in, to hear it and meditate. So let's see what our messages from our angelic angels and guides have to say. It's our messages. It's our messages. Blessings and abundance. Your guardian angel is very much with you. And blessings of abundance can come in many different ways. You know, some people think that abundance comes in the form financially with money. And of course, abundance, um, you know, of course, we all want to be more financially secure and so on and so on. However, blessings can come in many, many different ways. That's why it's really important to be grateful for the littlest things. I mean, even the littlest things somebody might say or do. I'm truly grateful for that. I'm truly grateful for the new opportunities that are coming into my life with much gratitude. When you stay in that vibration of being grateful in gratitude, you're going to see things start to open up for you and come into alignment for you. Especially, um, I just hear a message coming through. Um, Oh, my, 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 my. Thank you, Spirit. Sorry, that was a message for me. Sorry. <laughs> but really, right during my video? So, but mind you, I did ask for that. I did send out that vibrational energy and frequency. So I started hearing messages right away. Um, but I just want you guys to try to get into that because you'll hear messages right away too. So let, let's ask again from our spirit world. What is the message for July 29th to the 4th of August? What is the message? What is the message this week? What is the message? Commit to yourself, you guys, and best in you. Message. Message. Wow. Wow. Okay. So card that came down here is seclusion. So some of you very well might want to take time out for you to meditate. You know how I said um, we have sheer on energy to get a lot more emotional. Um, you might have um, ended a relationship with someone or ended a um, traumatic situation or healing with the Chiron um, and you really need some space for you take that time you see how this 
um, cabin down here. Some of you might be like, you know what? I need some space away in nature. I mean, being a, surrounded by the mountains, being in nature. See, that looks pretty quiet. Nobody's going to bother you up there. Turn your phones off. You know, hear nothing but the sounds of Mother Nature. Because when you do that, you're going to hear more messages coming through even more and more and more. I mean, bring your phones with you, of course, emergencies or whatever. But when we take that time out for us, get in touch with Mother Nature, you are going to get more grounded because you're not in that hustle and bustle of everything that's going on around you. You can't run from situations. You know, I would I would suggest to, um, you know, if there's certain confrontations you have to do or things you have to end with people or situations, you know, deal with that, resolve that issue, and then you can move on <clears throat> and start your healing process in a quiet, sacred space for you. Then you can let go even more and more and more. And then you'll find that you're going to get lighter and lighter and lighter. And even some of us, we just need to get away to get that creativity back going on, um, to heal, to come to terms with things, or just to have, whoops, more space, more space. So I'm just going to pull one last card here. These crystal cards were really wanting to talk to me. They were like really getting uh, my attention here. So I'm like, okay, all right. So we've got some powerful energy with us right now. I'm feeling it. Really. So what's the energy and message from our crystal since you really wanted to get my attention and oh, wow. Wow. I actually have this crystal. Um, not anywhere near me no but i do have this crystal um you claws look at that look at that beautiful card look at that see the face in this card that's you that's a crystal's trying to talk to you one-on-one one-on-one -on -one. One -on -one and you blue chakra clearing your throat chakra healing your throat chakra you know how i said you might want to speak your truth you might want to stand up more for your worth you might want to end a situation with someone you might want to um, do this or that you're going to be utilizing your voice right blue is the the communication chakra Look at that. Look how powerful that is. And it looks, I love in this because it kind of looks like he's on a little initiation path is what I'm hearing there. And he's lifting up himself up higher and higher and higher. The vibration is going higher and higher and higher. Um, I'm actually seeing a different figure in this, um, in this crystal myself. It's very interesting. Actually, I know this person. Um, Okay, surrender, surrender, take time, take time, take time, take time out, take time out, you guys, take time for you, walk your truth, be authentic, be yourself, and let me know how your week goes. So please like my video, subscribe to my channel. There's something new coming in here pretty quick here on my channel. Make some comments. Let me know what's going on and share my video. Wishing you all a powerful, powerful week to embrace who you are and walk your talk and talk your walk. Walk your own truth. Namaste.
Namaste, everyone. I'm Jenny G. I'm an international known clairvoyant psychic medium, past life Akashic record, animal communicator, relationship coach, meditation teacher, and so on. I am here to tell you there is some exciting news. I'm revamping my YouTube channel. That's right. There's new content coming out weekly. I'm going to talk about the weekly cosmic vibes, what you're experiencing, and why, how to utilize that, and giving you the reasons behind it. We're going to talk about the new moon, the full moon, Mercury retrograde, and I'm going to give you those insights how to manifest and make things happen for you at the right time it's time everyone it's time to wake up this planet let's show some love and compassion let the fear go let the negativity go let's do this together and transcend your soul in quantum leaps I'll be here. Where are you? Hit that red button at the corner there. Subscribe to my channel and let's make this happen. Let's do this now. Namaste.